Hello students, in this video we'll talk about how to put the um, lab photos that you need for your labs right into your lab document. I do not want to accept multiple files per Dropbox um, regarding one lab and I definitely cannot be opening um, JPEG files that are megabytes large. So we want to find out how to resize our pictures and also how to put them into a Word document. So in your class, you'll find under course information, the laboratory authentic assessment page. In that page, you'll find photos, um, a description of photos that you need to take for your lab. Okay, now here's my Word document. It has all of my lab information typed, including graphs and pictures. Okay, so if you have a photo saved on your desktop, you press insert pictures. Okay, and you look for that picture and it will drop right into the Word document. Okay, so that's a picture I used for the news in integrated science. And here's a picture I used for the news in environmental science. Now this second picture is kind of large. We want to make that smaller. How are we going to do that? Now, depending on what um, kind of programming you have on your computer, you might be able to just resize the photo um, through the tools on your computer. Now, if you don't have any um, photo workshop type program on your computer, you can watch this um, tutorial by our training and development team um, about using a free software on the internet called Pick Resize. Here is the um, URL that you will need to access this video. And I'll also post this video in the classroom discussion forum. Um, after you've resized your pictures, go back, put them in the Word document. It is also extremely helpful to me if you put your name in the file that you are submitting. I get tons of files with exactly the same name. So it's hard for me to keep track of those um, when I'm downloading them onto my computer. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.